This is gonna be your new go-to St. Patty's Day sipper for like end of day, crazy celebrations are over, and you just want a sophisticated, lovely nightcap. This is your drink. That aromatized wine brings in those mulled wine spices, but it's still light enough from the gin and the orange. Relax and sip on this cocktail. So, let's go shopping. For this cocktail, the Sassy Lass, we are going to use our Irish gin. It's made with gunpowder tea, a whole slew of botanicals and different citruses. It's slow distilled. It is small handcrafted and an absolutely beautiful gin that I'm excited to feature in this cocktail. So next we're gonna use Keeper's Heart, which is local, but made by an Irish distiller. So it's a very Irish style, sort of a blend Irish American whiskey that is gonna be perfect for this cocktail. So we are gonna use our Vicra Aperitivo Classico, which is a bittersweet aperitivo with an infusion of rhubarb. Super unique, very fun. Love using this in cocktails. Next. We're gonna use the La Maraja. This is an aromatized wine from Italy. What you're getting is sort of an extra strong wine, almost vermouth-like, but it brings a lot of depth and weight and warmth and really makes this cocktail kind of that nightcap sipper that we're looking for. And back to Salerno. We've used this in a lot of cocktails, but it is just beautiful orange liqueur. It's not quite as sweet as some of them. It brings that blood orange flavor. It has really fresh, bright citrus notes, and it is just a wonderful component for cocktails, and I love using it. So I'm gonna show you how to build a sassy lass, not raise one, which is what my parents did. <laughs> one and a half ounces gin. Half ounce La Maraja, aromatized wine. Half ounce Vicra Aperitivo. Quarter ounce orange liqueur. Quarter ounce Irish whiskey. Ice. Rocks glass with your rock. Two dashes, bitters. Garnish with orange peel. And that is how you make a sassy lass.